Hi, this is Nimit, Applications Engineer at Symmetry Electronics and today we are going to work with the ETRX3 development kit from Telegesis. The purpose of today's video is to show you how easy it is to start working, evaluating and prototyping on this new development kit from Telegesis which lets you implement the wireless mesh networking topology using Telegesis' own modules which work on Zigbee. So let's go through the ETRX3 development kit components. As you can see, we have three development boards, we have three USB cables, we have eight modules in total. We have two modules which are ETRX357 with an onboard ceramic antenna and 8 dBm of output power. Two modules with ETRX357HR which have a Heroes coaxial connector and 8 dBm output power. Then we have ETRX357LRS which has an onboard ceramic antenna and 19 dBm of output power. And the fourth variant would be the ETRX357HRLRS with a Heroes coaxial connector and a 19 dBm output power. Then we have one USB stick dongle, we have two quarter wavelength antennas and two half wavelength antennas. Okay, so after we have downloaded all the required software tools and documentations for our evaluation kit analysis, let's start actually working with the kit. We use two evaluation boards here. I have plugged in two modules which are ETRX357. All we have to do is attach a USB cable and interface it with our computer. So once we are done with interfacing our hardware to the computer, we have to download a terminal software program. We can use any terminal software program such as HyperTerminal, but Telegesis has its own terminal application program which goes by the name Telegesis Terminal Software Application Program. The main advantage with using this is that it allows enhanced functionality especially suited to the ETRX357 module. The AT style commands can be issued by clicking on customizable command buttons and all of the 64-bit serial numbers which are reporting in are listed in a separate window. This means you will not need to input any of the 64-bit serial numbers in it. For instructions on how to use AT command manuals, the whole AT command manual document is again available at Telegesis website. Let's launch our Telegesis application program on our computer. Since we have two evaluation boards, we have to launch two Telegesis terminal windows. <coughs> go to File, after launching the Telegesis terminal window, go to File, Open Layout, and select the layout, which is R3XX, in our case, based on the Ember Z net 3.x network. Now, in order to use a Telegesis terminal software, select the correct COM port that corresponds to the correct evaluation board. Since we deal with two evaluation boards, we have two COM ports, so each COM port should correspond to its respective evaluation board. Now, let's get started quickly. Type in the command AT in the command window and press enter. In, this should be prompted by OK and once you see that message, this basically means that we have established a connection between our evaluation board and the computer. Now how can we check that? There is a very cool feature here. So we have a button here which says local LEDs on. Let me press that for one of the terminal windows. And we see that the LEDs get on for one of the evaluation boards. Let's do it for this. Let's do the same for the other board. And we see that the LEDs are on. This verifies the purpose here, but just to show off, let me click on this buzzer on feature which produces this buzzer sound on one of the evaluation boards. And the same on the other window does the same. So basically we established a connection between our evaluation board and our PC which works pretty well. Now let's see if we are able to successfully establish a Zigbee connection between the two modules. Now to do that, we have to establish a PAN network and for this we will have to issue AT plus EN command or alternatively press the establish PAN button that you see right here. 
Once we do that, the local unit will now scan for all available 16 channels and establish a pan with a random pan ID on the quietest one. This may take up to 60 seconds and in this case you see it, it's immediately done and leads to the node becoming the network's coordinator. When successful, the module will prompt the channel number, the PAN ID, and the newly created PAN. So we were successful in establishing a PAN network. Now we need our other module to join this PAN network and for this we will go to the other terminal window and we will quickly press on join any PAN button. So, once we are done with that, basically we were successful in establishing a connection between the two modules on the same Zigbee channel using a wireless mesh networking topology. Now quickly, the last feature that I would like to show here is, let's go and click on the configure button. And once you do that, it will issue a command to scan the network causing all nodes in our network to report in. You will see that on discovery of a remote device, its serial number is added to the device list window. In addition to this, the configure functionality will build addition buttons to play a tune on a remote board. Thank you for watching this video. This development kit and all Telegesis products are available at symmetryelectronics.com or you can buy them online at semiconductorstore.com. Thank you.